Hey guys, Danny Cock here, creator of Audio Imperia's Trailer Guitars Tension Motors. This is the first volume of my signature series. I'll be releasing some more fun stuff next year with Audio Imperia, so keep your eyes out for that. So I wanted to give you guys a little walkthrough and explanation of the library and go over some of the intentions too behind the patches and what all you can do with them. So let's take a look at all the patches we have here. So we have Ebo Tension, Echo Ringouts, Echo String Effects, In Space, Melodic Ringouts, 16th and 8th Note Motors, Bendy Motors, Triplet Motors, Ring and Sting Effects, and more Ringouts. So let's dive right in and have a listen. So first we have Ebo Tension, and this is sort of a bonus, and we're going to be doing a whole other second volume based around these and a lot more ambient patches. The inspiration behind these was some of Clint Mansell's The Moon Score. Um, they aren't your typical Ebo drone, but sort of a wafting ambience. And I've gotten lucky with these two and had them work melodically over cue so they can be used that way in a more beautiful ambient setting as well. Let's have a listen. So next we have the echo ringouts, and they're pretty self-explanatory. And we have some nice dissonant echoes like these guys. And so what's really cool is all of these have really nice pitch key switches so you can get these in the key that you're writing here or move them around if you have chord changes or whatever. So all that located down here. And of course, you can fully automate the filters, filter and pitch envelopes, attack, decay, sustain, and release over here, as well as play with the built-in modulation, distortion, and mix effects in the uh, photosynthesis engine, which is really cool. And there's a step sequencer over here as well and uh, my favorite part of this engine is it's really easy to key switch in effects uh, with these keys located over here so starting here you have the lo-fi or the bit crusher and then you have screamer distortion jump chorus delay and reverb you can kick on and off really easily it makes adding a nice twist as you're playing really easily and not have to go and dig in the interface and of course, you can uh, MIDI CC automate everything in here as well. So next we have the Echo String Effects, and these are probably the weirdest of all the patches, and they're pretty much perfect for anything that needs to be uneasy or uncomfortable in a queue. Next, we have In Space. So basically, these are melodic lines that are really focused on ambience. They're meant to kind of sit in the background over a chord progression or on their own, something more interesting than a steady eighth note. They have a slight little melody to them. So perfect for the subtle moments. ring outs so next we have the motors uh, we have 16 note and 8th note pulses, and these are probably the easiest and most straightforward and popular part of this release. 
um, you know, who doesn't need a nice pulsing eighth or sixteenth low note to move things along and to keep time and tension. which are same sort of ideas, the 8th and 16th, just a little bit more on the tense and uneasy side with half-step bends or even quarter-step bends just to create that uneasiness. Next, we have the triplet motors, which are perfect for the urgency and tension change that rhythmic meter. So next we have the ring and sting effects. And these sounds were all made with bowing and scraping and just playing around on the guitar, making some un unusual atonal, um, really meant to be obscure and just a lot of the times uncomfortable feeling. So definitely for more of dark, uh, tense scores. And so lastly, we have ring outs which are similar to echo ring outs, but um, they just have a nice low note or suspense, suspenseful tone to just ring out and sustain without the echo. Cool, so that about wraps up our walkthrough. I hope you guys enjoyed and definitely check out the links below to get to Audio Imperia's site and check out all the other awesome libraries. I've been able to get a lot of good use out of everything they've been putting out and it's definitely an honor to be a part of the team. And uh, also be sure to check out all the awesome demos by all of the awesome composers as well. There's a link below for that.